freshman from San Diego. And Buckner will keep and Buckner will take off. Good first play in South Bend for Buckner. How about, how about that for your first play? That been a quarterback for him. It's only 30, Buckner will keep, and he will take off again and get another first down. And Buckner has energized this Notre Dame stadium crowd. So there's a lot of rust, but Buckner trusted here by Tommy Reese. His pass is complete in the traffic. Braden Lindsay comes up with it. And a first down into Toledo territory. Second and seven. The quarterback remains Buckner. He tries to get to the edge, and he does. Buckner on the run down the sideline. They'll mark him out at the 30. The quarterback, Buckner, he fakes it. He throws it. It's wide open. This may go. The distance for Tyree. Notre Dame touchdown. Tyler Buckner's going to fake the handoff. He's going to pull it. It's a naked boot. Wide open, Chris Tyree down the sideline. But think about the threats. You've got Kyron Williams potentially getting the handoff. You've got Tyler Buckner. To extend drives and finish this game out. There's a keeper by Buckner for a first down into Toledo territory. And the safety over the top. Quarterback change, Tyler Buckner comes in for his first snap for Notre Dame. The freshman from the 46 lines up to take off. Creating space, trying to get to the edge. Buckner does. It's a gain of four, but it got a lot of folks out of their seat. And let's watch here on the sideline. This looks to be a QB power. They pull two offensive linemen. He runs about 45 yards in order to gain five, but still turned a negative play into a positive one. And Alexander, 36, who went running around as Buckner got away from the would-be tackle by Jamari Brown. Slow start, and her name has picked it up. And a throw from Buckner is incomplete as Tyler, the second quarterback, got in there for the Irish. And Kevin Austin could not bring it in. The sit. But mostly Cone, a little bit of Buckner, whose running ability here is something Purdue is on high, high alert for, as you would expect. Loss of a yard that time for the first time in college. Buckner taking off, got away from Carl Loftus, can he get the first down, he does! What a run by Buckner, got away from as good a defender as there is up front in the Big Ten, and got a first down. Watch where they put Carl Loftus here, they put him over the right guard, they must like that matchup. Good job spinning inside, had his hands on him. Purdue had it. It is Tyler Buckner, the freshman from Southern California, checking into the lineup. Very good runner. We have seen him spark the Irish, especially the game against Toledo, out with a hamstring injury. Second half of Purdue and last week against Wisconsin. Look to take off here, and Cincinnati knows what he does. Is able to erase it. Majay Sanders. They're there they try a design quarterback draw. Nice play by Majay Sanders, one of their better defensive ends. Second and 11, and it will be Buckner keeping and turning it upfield. He's a good open field runner. He's twisted down to the 27-yard line as Beavers was running all the way across with Ty Van Fossil. Well, right on cue, Mike, we said it. Outside the pocket, see the two running backs in the backfield, Chris Tyree, Kyron Williams. It's really a naked, it's a naked bootleg. He can throw it or he can run it. What's your best option? Certainly he's a guy. Let's see if they go to zone or man. Left field emptied out. Buckner escapes, flips, and throws incomplete with Avery Davis, the intended receiver. The Buckner series is three and out. Let's see Majay Sanders here lined up on the left side for most of this game. What he does, he causes Tyler Buckner to have to step up, start to vacate the pocket. Tough throw. Tyron Williams and Chris Tyree until right now. Sebo Flemister in the game for the first time as Buckner gets no game. He has hit hard. Majay Sanders the first hit. Deshaun Pace the second. So Buckner gets another series here. He does. He can take off and run. But you're getting some favorable man coverage looks. 37. Buckner hit as he throws. It's intercepted. Deshaun Pace has got it. Picking up blocks. Pace inside the 10. And it's first and goal for Cincinnati. 
The pressure came. Buckner was hit as he released it. And the Bearcats are going to take over inside the Irish 10. So they're going to Michael Mayer. They like this matchup. So do I. But as Tyler Buckner drops back, watch the game that they run on this left side of the line. Myj Sanders runs the stunt, comes back inside. Unfortunately, a ball where you get hit as you're trying to throw, ball comes up short, similar to what happened to Jack Cohn earlier. Cincinnati's doing a nice job with their pass rush of forcing the quarterback. Set ...that we want to utilize as a runner, and that's why he's in. And he's running it right now, straight ahead, ahead of steam for a seven-yard gain. Took a pretty good hit, too. Brian Kelly said this week, I would not say that Tyler is out of options of play. Second down two. They put Austin in motion. Trying for that first down. Trying to push ahead and pick up one yard. Yeah, Couple this is plays what, ago. what I mean about, you know, why he's he's in there. I mean, that, that's it. In between the tackles run, it's a... Irish in midfield. Buckner back to throw. Airs that one out, has a receiver, and that's going to be caught down the sideline, jumping toward the end zone, but out of bounds is Kevin Austin. Almost got in for six after the catch. That's 46 yards. And it's a beautiful throw. Press coverage on Waller. He does a good job of winning and getting on top, and then look at that throw. Beautiful throw by Buckner. And one of the things that happens when you're good at running the football with your quarterback, it forces the deep. Quarterback's going to keep it, finding the end zone. He's trying. He gets there to the goal line and in for a touchdown. Notre Dame strikes. Buckner, what a huge lift for Notre Dame. Well, how about this effort? He was still on top of the defender as he spun over into the end zone. And Dave, I think that's, that's the reason why it is a touchdown. He's basically quarterback power extra. It's a good job of physical running by Buckner because that's Shamari Connor, who, you know, has an NFL future as a strong safety. And kind of running through that contact because the quarterback is such a threat as a runner. Going to throw it short and off the fingertips of number 25, Chris Tyree. Third down four. Buckner wants to throw. And incomplete. He's trying to find Avery Davis there. Could not make the play. And Notre Dame to punt. Yeah. On a three-yard run himself. He's going to keep it now. Looking for the sideline, and he'll step out. And pushed out to bring up second down, a four-yard pickup. It's a good thing Barn from being a huge pickup. Notre Dame with three wideouts stacked to the right side. Buckner's going to fire over the middle, and that's going to be caught by Davis. Davis dragged down at the 40-yard line. Notre Dame with a big strike of 36. A huge strike and really good job with your for Avery Davis. Good throw. 30-second timeout. You know, what's encouraging about that throw right there, Dave? You go back to the preview. Breaking off a backbreaker. Buckner throwing. Throwing long and overshoots his receiver, Austin. But there is a flag down. Dropped out the 20-yard line. Good job of closing the cushion before he crosses Daly's face. And that's why Daly has got to grab onto him. And They don't get any penalties. They've been outstanding. All season long. Buckner with the carry trying to dance outside. Dragged down around the 25. That was Ch He wants to throw. He's going to hit Williams. Williams pushed out. He'll gain eight. This here Peoples to put. Buckner's been a huge story. The freshman coming off the bench. Looking for the end zone. A fight for that, but incomplete. Intended for Austin in a corner. That's a good job of Buckner going to have to look elsewhere. Quarterback's going to keep it. Trying to bounce out. Now cut back inside. Got inside the 10-yard line. Boy, Buckner, a tough, tough runner. That's a 10-yard gain. Tough and fast. And 
Now, I would have thought he may be Zion quarterback run. We talked, Dave, at the beginning of this game about how tough this environment is. It's loud, it's hostile, difficult to communicate, and Buckner has come in and really been the spark that Notre Dame needs offensively. And he's certainly done it on the ground, but he's made enough plays through. Giant weapon. Buckner has tools of his own, though. Looking to throw it, fires for the end zone, touchdown! That one caught by Kyron Williams, and Notre Dame scores again with less than a minute to play before halftime. And the Irish on top, 13 to 10. And this is the most quiet this place has been. To the middle of the field, which means somebody's got to go with Williams. It's man coverage. And so and that, if it's not man, then there's just got to be some type of match in zone by Alan Tisdale. Whatever it is, it's a bust. You see how upset Jermaine Waller was because <laughs> that's not Waller's, you know, zone. Williams in the backfield. And the quarterback will keep it. He's going to bust ahead across the 20-yard line. Buckner continues to gain tough yards, stopped by Chamari Connor, but he'll gain 11. Yeah, just watch this move on Hollyfield, the linebacker. I mean, that, that is breaking ankles there. Playing with two high safeties, they decide to run the ball, quarterback run, and that's not down. And has not let go. He's going to run out of there with the football. And Tisdale with the tackle on Buckner, a six-yard gain. Yeah, I love the fearlessness of Buckner as a runner. I mean, you know, back. Second and five. Little play action. He's going to rifle that one incomplete. Wanted Avery Davis. Peoples was there on the coverage, and we have 57 seconds left in the quarter. Buckner wants to throw, and picked off, intercepted, looking for the end zone, touchdown, Waller! His fourth interception of the season. Jumps the route, he doesn't have anybody behind him. It's just seeing what's in front of him and reading the quarterback through the wide receiver. That's Waller. And so I think that Bruckner gets fooled by the way the, the safety to the, that side is drifting towards the middle. But it allows Waller, just look at how aggressive Waller is as he's looking back through the receiver to the quarterback. He's just there, and then the caliber of player that Jermaine Waller is, he's not going to how he handles the situation. He's going to keep the football, trying to dance ahead, and dives for the gain. He'll pick up eight yards. Last seconds of the third. And a quarterback to keep the football and dive ahead. And a three-yard pickup. For Buckner. You know, Notre Dame's got to get something going offensively. Is now into the fray here for the Irish. Buckner to throw, dumps it over the middle and incomplete. That was intended for Williams. And Notre Dame's just trying to run a little slip screen to Williams. Look on the left side of your screen. It's just a little slip screen. He's right there. You know, I get it that Barno is coming in your face, but like find the throwing lane. Just get him the football. You know, for his poison and calm. And From his 20. They string him out. He'll get the pass away and complete to Austin. So he made something out of what could have been nothing right there, and they pick up 12. Yeah, and really, I think he does a bad job of trying to escape outside the pocket there. Should sit up in it. Instead, it gets outside. And that's just a tremendously athletic play. 
Yeah, the quarterback's going to take off and break one tackle. And it got close, as he'll pick up eight yards on that carry. Buckner takes a pretty good hit. They found him quickly. It was Hollifield again. Just a two yard pickup, but Buckner is now the lead. Buckner rolls, fires, and it's intercepted. Intercepted again by Peoples here. He had all the way back to the 45 yard line or close, and down in a heap goes Buckner and picked off. And a hokey defense comes up with a big, big play. It's a huge play by the hokey defense. It's a massive mistake by Buckner. He escapes outside the pocket. Throwing across your body late down the middle is never a good idea for a quarterback. And then to make things worse, oh, just a totally after the play, not touched. Mm. Just rolls his ankle. Is the nephew of NFL Pro Football Hall of Famer Troy Polamalu, former Trojan. So Cones out and Tyler Buckner from Southern California, from San Diego, in the lineup for the first time tonight. Terrific runner from the 44. Gets it to Kyron Williams. Williams patiently waited for the block from Austin to get very close to that first down. Here's the 35 yard line. This is that element that Tyler Buckner brings. He's got two running backs in the backfield. He's gonna fake to one. Tyron Williams sneaks out in the flat to the other side. Buckner, when he's on the perimeter though, he has the opportunity to run. He can, he, he can, he can throw the ball to one of his outlets, but he just provides that versatility. It's very unique. Second and one, and Buckner looking to throw. He'll throw in the middle of the traffic. It's caught by Mayer at the 20 yard line. First down to pick up a 15, and Cohn comes back in. You know, they really opened up this offense two weeks ago at Virginia Tech with Tyler Buckner. Gave him some more down the field, vertical passing game type opportunities. It's something that he does very well, as you can see from that throw right there, Mike. You know, because yes. it's, it's such a different right. style of offense between Jack Cohn and Tyler Buckner. So that was a free play for the Irish. It is first and goal inside the five. And Buckner! Just shy of it. His butt was down before the goal line. And a flag comes in with the late pushing. And this will be a big call with Notre Dame on the doorstep. He really accounts for another defender in the box and opens up a lot of other elements in the run game for Notre Dame. Under five minutes, first and goal for the Irish, and Buckner will keep it and scores a touchdown. And you see one of the first guys out there is Jack Cohn. These quarterbacks, as they share the role, are also sharing the joy as well. Look at Jack Cohn. Fired up for Tyler Buckner. Yeah, it's, it's amazing what, what those quarterbacks and what Tommy Reese and, and, and Brian Kelly have really been able to build together. You know, they see, no matter who's in the game, that that quarterback room is a shared success. So whether it's Jack Cohn throwing touchdowns, Tyler Buckner running in, or Drew Pine coming off the bench to give the team a spark, those guys have worked so well together. They're there to support one another, provide input when they come off on the, on the sideline. It's really incredible to see that type of camaraderie in the QB room. The Buckner touchdown makes it 31-16, ND. He has uh, the support of so many of us here. Dickie V, we're thinking of you, pal. I'm sure he was watching tonight. Buckner on the run, and Buckner gets the first down at the three-yard line. And that should just about do it. We'll see if USC is going to use that final timeout, what the Irish will do with this 15-point lead. Tommy's really happy. Feels like it's happening as they're dictating it. Not going to a relief pitcher when you're making a quarterback change. This time Buckner pulls up, keeps it, tries to get to the edge, and Buckner with a stiff arm, out of bounds, right around the 10-yard line. Game of 14 and an Irish first down. Yeah, and this is really where Tyler Buckner's strength lies. When, when he can pull this ball with a lead blocker, use his speed to get to the edge. Again, a lot of explosive plays have come this year with Buckner outside the pocket. About 215 pounds, 
He runs the ball pretty physical. You never really see him slide. He's lowering his shoulder as well. I think both teams have uh, got the 11 out there that they want. Second and goal. Buckner, the quarterback for Notre Dame. He will whip it out. So this is what Tyler Buckner does for you. Look at what just his presence in the backfield does to this defender. That defender is frozen, thinking that oh, Buckner's in the game, it's gonna be a run. So he aborts his responsibility of walking out over the receiver, Avery Davis. Easy touchdown for the Irish. They've got two blockers to block two defenders. Walks in the end zone. Chris Collins was an observer, and he watched Davis go into the end zone. Jonathan Doerr. The extra point for the Irish. So a couple of timeouts taken, a little unsteadiness, but the good punt return set him up, and Avery Davis took it in. 7 0 Notre Dame. Just a little bit more of the fresh milk. First and 10, it's still Bunker at quarterback. Designed run, and North Carolina waiting for him. Gain of about two yards. Drew, isn't it funny every time we talk to a defensive coordinator? On the opposite side of the Irish, they talk about, oh, yeah, well, when 12 gets in, it's a little bit different. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> then running it for a touchdown. But look, look, that's what that's what the threat of his running gives you is all of a sudden these DBs have double responsibility. Diggs pounding towards the goal line. He will get stopped a bit short at the one. That was first and goal. Second down coming up. And the Irish run quickly to... Yeah, KT, uh, it was Tommy Reese, the offensive coordinator, to tell us just what a tone setter he is for every room, not just the running back's room. Tone, Michael Mayer juggles, collects first down for the Irish right around midfield. Tyler Buckner, excuse me, it was Buckner throwing that one. Yeah, good timing bringing Buckner in the game. It's been a lot of run with him, but here you bring Mayer back on the naked boot. Tough for a defense. You've got to defend first the run because it's 90% run when Buckner's in the game. But all of a sudden, they pull out one of these pass plays. You turn a guy free in the flat. Another first down. So here tonight, Buckner is the quarterback. Second and 14. Buckner going to take off and he will chase down. Quick read to bring him down to bring up third down and a must-have play. Cameron Kelly on the tackle. For the Tar Heels. The 15, pressure's picked up. Buckner throws to Austin. It's incomplete. And a flag is down. Flag throw on Don Chapman, who has been targeted often here tonight and in the middle of some big plays. Calls for another one. Pass interference. Defense, number two. The ball be placed at the two yard line. First down. Uh, Kevin Austin, their vertical threat. Correction. The ball will be placed at the spot of the foul. Defenses. Teams have combined for one of 11 on third down. Buckner pulls it, takes the throw to Mayer, gets the first down with his legs to the 47 yard line. You know, this is take off and run and still get the, the fir first down. So, three options. It's Notre Dame's triple option. Very good. Half in the Navy game. Buckner pulls it. Chased by Diego Fago, and he got there for the first down. Fago is an outstanding linebacker. Top tackler for his third year. Had a lot of off. All five Buckner snaps have been runs. They bring pressure as he throws with a flag down. Incomplete. Miscommunication with Kevin Austin, the receiver. And the quarterback, Buckner, will check the flag. 12. They're showing a full blitz, cover zero look. They end up bringing him. Buckner to Austin. Couldn't get out of the tackle, but he's got the first down. Inside the five, Willie Collins, the sophomore with the touchdown saving tackle. Irish will go quick here from the one. So watch, they bring everyone up front. You're one on one on the backside with Kevin Austin. All right, Kevin, and a new quarterback for Notre Dame. They're going to give Tyler Buckner some work. And the true freshman in trouble. Ends up getting positive yardage. He's a terrific athlete. Was a great high school lacrosse player. He's got three touchdowns passing and two rushing touchdowns coming into the season. Well, as you mentioned, very athletic. 
dangerous weapon as a runner. They've been using him situationally for quite some time throughout the course of the season. And talking with Tommy Reese, he thinks that the future is very bright for Tyler Buckner. Says he can really throw the football. There he is running it again. It's a first down. And to your point on being able to throw the football, it's been a long time since we've seen, seen at quarterback a legitimate dual threat. A guy that can be just as good throwing the ball as he is as a runner. And Notre Dame in attack. The first true freshman quarterback at Notre Dame ever to do that in a single game. Here he is on the run. And you see the arm strength. Incomplete, though. Lindsay, the intended target. There is a penalty marker down. Jonas Sanker in coverage, but yeah, that's a pretty good throw on the run. 30 yards downfield. Defense, number 20, 15 yard penalty. Automatic, first down. Well, it's a very well thrown ball, Dave, and Sanker gets there just a touch early. Never turns around. You see the contact in the chest of the intended target, Lindsay. Yep, perfectly thrown football. And clearly pass interference. That contact too early. And the true freshman, Jonas Sanker, never got his head around. He gets his head around. He can maybe make a play on that ball. Notre Dame trying to get to 9-1. and one. Games against for, uh, Georgia Tech next week and at Stanford to close out the season. Great chance to be 11-1. And in the conversation for the college football playoff, pending what happens in front of them, of course. Buckner, again throwing it downfield. And oh, what a catch by Mayer. The ball was on the back of the linebacker, Nick Jackson. And Mayer just took it right off of him and away from him for a big play. Wow, how about the athleticism of Michael Mayer? Concentration on the back of Jackson and the strength with that right hand to pull it off his back and secure the catch as he goes to the ground. One hand, 22 yards down to the 36-yard line. Kelly, the all-time leader in victories at Notre Dame. They're going to be one win away after tonight from five consecutive 10-win seasons. Here's Mayer. See where they spot him. You know, he passes New Rockney this year as the all-time winningest coach in program history. And coming into the season and four straight double-digit win seasons, that had never happened in the history of this historic program. And well on their way to a fifth straight. The level of consistency they've maintained under his tenure does not get enough praise and does not get enough mention when you talk about the great coaches in college football. Two trips to the college football playoff, a trip to the national championship game, Really, the only thing he hasn't done is take that next step and win a national title. Ball on the ground. And recovered by Virginia. Noah Taylor comes away with it for the Cavaliers. May have been hurt on the play, too. He's holding his midsection as he came up with the loose ball. You see Buckner and Diggs not on the same page, and it's the second giveaway by Notre Dame and the different ways he's able to impact this offense. Play fake here, Buckner still in there at quarterback, and a sweet move by true freshman tight end Mitchell Evans. First down to 42. And coming up shortly over on ESPN, number three, Oregon will be in action against Washington State. Any chance of an upset there in Eugene? It's 2021, Dave. Of course. Always a chance. Buckner, who has played in a steady amount, but didn't play until really the fourth quarter, say for a snap or so against Virginia. He'll take over here at the 7 to keep it. And Buckner is on the run. And Tyler Buckner, chased from behind at the 40, takes it all the way to the 25-yard line. Huge run by the freshman from California. 68 yards on the game. I mean, watch this. This is this is pretty much how his college career started here, Mike. If yeah. you remember, first play against Toledo, backed up inside his 10-yard line, and he pulls it on a on a read option play. And man, it was like the parting of the Red Sea right there. He had a chance to showcase his speed. He is he is a special talent. Now he'll throw it. Lorenzo Styles Jr. with the catch on the edge. To the 14 yard line, a gain of 11 is one freshman, if as many assume Williams moves on. 
Third and six, quarterback draw. Can Buckner break through? Nope. Good hanging on by Jordan Dominic. Injured in the first half. He also had a sack in that first half. He makes the play there, and it's fourth down. Is the students throw marshmallows? Don't know. Can't, they can't help you. Kevin Bauman is back for the Irish. He gains 10 there. He had injured his foot earlier in the season. KT, this is your uh, eighth marshmallow game, huh? <laughs> yeah. Sounds, I, I sounds, like where your head's at, Drew. <laughs> sounds like s'mores to me. <laughs> That's right. Buckner, look out. In trouble. That twisted like a pretzel and hit hard. That ball came out as well. And we'll see who got on it. The Irish able to recover as Buckner had the pressure coming from the both sides. Fumble recovered by the offense. Second down. Yeah, this is this is one of those where hey, no know, know when your journey's come to an end. <laughs> Buckner trying to make something out of nothing. Good thing they got it back. Rocco Spindler. Buckner design run. Telling Chris Tyree when you block that way. He'll get out to the 28-yard line. It'll be interesting to watch. Buckner is certainly the quarterback. 12, a straight drop here for Buckner, and his release is high for Matt Salerno. Incomplete, and the Irish will punt the ball away. Buckner on second and 11. He is pressured, tried to get it out to Tyree. That pass is incomplete. If you start thinking ahead in offense, you may have to work on silent count for a home game next week. Buckner's pass is deflected. And incomplete is Georgia Tech getting around the quarterback here in the fourth quarter. You gotta love it. Was pushed into the spring instead of playing that. He came to Notre Dame. He runs it here. Shows off some of that speed. Breaking free for the Notre Dame touchdown. Explosive from Tyler Buckner. This is the block that sets the whole table right in the middle here on Thomas Booker. And he just drives him two, three yards off of his spot. Buckner does the rest. Third, being their quarterback again. They're on the right side. Turns the corner. He tucks it and runs. Lowers the shoulder. Through Williamson this time. 